This is an overview of the Justified Image Carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag in the Justified Image Carousel inside of your Elementor column. What a Justified Image Carousel means, it means that we have a carousel with images with different widths. Each width, each image has a different width. So you can add any image you want and it will adapt without cutting off the image. Each image can also have a title and you can have navigation arrows. You can turn them off at any time if you like. It also works by dragging it inside of responsive mode on a mobile device. So the settings are loop autoplay, which are pretty common so everybody knows what they mean show item titles we can turn these off so if I'll turn them off you can see that we don't have any titles anymore you can just use it for an image gallery let's turn them back on because later on we have a couple of settings about those show arrows we can turn off and on the arrows and we can change the transition speed so for example if you want it to be slower now the transition will happen a lot slower exactly like that and we have autoplay interval right now when autoplay is on it's moving every three seconds so if i'll change it to one second then it will take only one second between each interval which is a lot faster i'm going to turn off the autoplay for demonstration purposes just so that doesn't bug us and i'm going to right click on the section and first of all, I'll make it a full width. So in the layout, let's change that to full width, which looks awesome. And let's jump back into the settings by clicking on the widget. And inside of items, you can see these are the default items. You can delete them, you can duplicate them. Each item can link to a different page. And you can add a title for each one of these images. So let's just see what happens when we select a different size image and let's see how that adapts so let's get to the image and there it is so you can see this is the exact proportions of this image and it didn't get cut off or anything that what a justified image carousel means justified means that everything is the same height but in different widths Inside of the style pane, we can change the height of this gallery or carousel to any height we like. And this field is responsive, meaning that in a different screen resolution, you can decide that maybe it needs to be higher or smaller. Great. So that's how it looks. Let's jump back into desktop. Inside of desktop, we can make the margin between the items bigger. So for example 50 that's the space between them we can eliminate the space overall that's how it looks awesome and let's jump into the title settings the title is over here we can change the title background so for example if you want a different color you can also make it semi transparent using the alpha channel title padding so if you want this thing to be bigger you can make that with padding you can align it if you want it to be aligned to the left, to the center, or to the right. You can change the text color, the text typography, and we can decide to snap it to the top instead of to the bottom. And we can also decide to show the title only when you hover over the title. So if you want this to look clickable, even more clickable, you can present it in this way. Nav arrows. These are the arrows. So first of all, I'm going to change the distance from the sides. Right now it's snapped to the left. Let's change the distance to 40 pixels. And now these will move 40 from the left and from the right. We can change the size of the icon or of the background color. And we can play around with the radius. So for example, if you want it to be square, which also looks awesome, you can leave it that way. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to see you in the next 